Welcome back to the channel guys. Behind me, 2019 beautiful Grand Sport Corvette. As you know on our channel we do a lot of LT4 platforms and superchargers, turbo kits, a whole bunch of boosted applications. Not very many times we show you NA stuff, but we got a cool NA build behind us. Mr. Phillips from Missouri? I think all the way from Missouri is, is here to pick it up. Just uh, drove the truck and trailer down. Um, we built previous cars for him in the past, which were both LT4 platforms, correct? We did a yes. ZL1 Camaro, and we did a Cadillac, I believe. Yes. Um, this one, completely NA. Just cam, headers, pump gas, and E85. Over 500 rear wheel horsepower. Very fun, very simple street car. Uh, shifter in it as well. We did an aftermarket clutch because I know Billy, he's gonna want more horsepower later. So the supercharger will probably go on it next. We went ahead and took care of some drivetrain components now. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the car real quick. So, as y'all can see, aftermarket cold air intake. We got the AFE cold air. As always, American Racing header, stainless steel headers all the way back. Uh, ATI dampener and our complete cam package. Cam springs, retainers, push rods, new lifters, whole nine yards. 500 and I think it was 507 rear wheel horsepower on pump gas and 527 on E85. And I, I was talking to him before the camera. Uh, boosted applications, we see a lot more gains going from 93 to E85 than NA setup, so, but still 20 rear wheel horsepower gain just from changing fuel is pretty cool. And as our boosted cars, we gave him the P3 gauge, which he asked for, so he can see his ethanol content. NA car sounds so good. And again, this thing drives, even with the big camshaft in it, like a factory car. So I know he's going to enjoy it, but I wanted to introduce him and kind of give his background because he's been playing with cars for a long time. And uh, yeah, this is now the third one we built for you. Third one. So the first two still in one piece? Yes. <laughs> Run very well, very happy with it. That's why I keep coming back. Awesome, awesome work. Great, great group of guys. All right, so I previously mentioned. Mr. Phillips owning ZL1 Camaro and a CTSV. Wanted to give you all more information about what we did to those cars, how he likes them, and also how he heard about LMR and to bring us those vehicles. Well, I wanted a ZL1 Camaro, so I was looking online for reviews and things of that nature on YouTube, and I saw the LMR videos of builds on these type cars which I knew that once I got the car, I wanted to bring it here and have the work done. Nice. Because I, I was watching the videos, and taking in everything that was said, everything that was done. I could see what kind of workmanship you had here. And I knew that I wanted to do business here. So once I found the car I wanted, I bought it. What I year was it, and the first one? It was an 18 Z01. 10-speed auto. Yeah, got 4,000 miles on it. I brought it straight here, had the cam, E85, bigger pump, bigger pusher pump uh, just a few other a few other things headers and I'm very happy with that over car. 700 rear yeah, horsepower 725 right? on E85 nice and I can run 93 at any time which is super convenient if, you don't, a, if you don't have E85 that's around. I, I try to tell people that it's, it's hard to say it, but we a lot of other shops put methyl on cars and stuff like that and it's one more thing to fail but also then if you can't run full E85, it's hard. So I tr we try to build these packages. So someone like yourself, yeah. just put, and he's a gearhead. He has other cars too, we'll talk about. But for people that aren't as much gearheads, they can put 93 octane in it or E85 and have nothing to worry about. Right. So after I got that car back, I knew I wanted, I already owned a CTSV, the third gen. I had to bring it here. What year was that one? That's a 16. Had the cam. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do the E85, the flex fuel package. I really don't. I think because I'm, thought you were going to come back with a ported blower or something I, later. You're I, like, for I, now, you just want the uh, cam yeah. and the chop, right? Yeah, the sound. I did that. Very happy with that. Yeah, and then in the meantime, I buy this car, and I'm coming to get my CTSV with an open trailer, and I thought, hey, why not just take this car also which get, is another 4000 mile car which is another car with 4000 miles which is a 19 grand sport and uh had the cam flex fuel had all those things done and obviously it sounds amazing and runs 
awesome. And uh, you know, I know about cars. I'm a mechanic myself. I own my own shop, and these guys are top notch awesome. on on performance and things of that nature. Thank you. Yeah, very I appreciate good. it. Very and then good. you also have a race car too, yeah, right? I more have of a race. A, yeah, I, I have a '69 Nova that you know roughly probably makes anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 horsepower to the rear tires, which I have a lifetime in that car. And if my kids say I'll be buried in it one day, which I probably will be. It's like my Camaro. Yeah. My and, 98 uh, Camaro is the same way. Yeah. So <laughs> it doesn't have air conditioner and the windows don't roll down. So when you're in that car, you want to get out. I mean, you want to do what you need to do and you got to get out. These cars, you turn the air conditioner on, you still can have awesome, an awesome time with the car. It's almost like I'm in my Nova. I don't even want to get in the Nova actually anymore. I want to get in one of these cars and just go have fun. We were, cruise. We were kind of talking off camera. I'm in the same boat. I have my three second race car. It makes 5,000 horsepower. It's a blast, but it's a lot of work. I don't know if I'm getting older or what, but something about these street cars, be able to hop in them, 700 to 1,000 rear wheel horsepower, and just go have fun on the weekends. So much, so much fun. You oh, can yeah. take your kids for a ride too. Oh, yeah. They can enjoy it, get the bug in them. Then they're screwed for the rest of their life like us. <laughs> ah, it's like a drug. <laughs> my son, my son's 16. And oh, two weeks it's... ago he got a C6. It's oh. only got 50,000 miles on it. I hear it came and headers coming to that. Soon. He wants it, and he wants it bad. But right now he's just getting used to driving the car. But he, he's our like dad. We gotta, I gotta have a sound like that. I love it. We can do this. I love it. I love it. Well, man, again, I appreciate all your business. Thank you. And look forward to doing plenty more. Absolutely. out of it put pump gas in it run pump gas through the complete fuel system the injectors and everything then park it for okay. what I call winter time okay. if you know it's gonna sit for three to six months okay. if it's uh, once a month you're okay I will say this Bams that sold me on this I was watching that YouTube video and he uh, he had installed it on a Corvette I think that video he had a V mm -hmm. and a Corvette and I seen that and I immediately called in like I want I want one of those. Especially Sweet. when he explained everything that it could do. Oh you yeah, so I mean that's just the ethanol time. You can scroll through it, it shows you intake air temps, anything that I scan for, this thing can read that's too. Awesome. It's cool as shit. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Give it a like if you liked it so far. And please turn on bell notifications for future content as we have cool stuff in the pipeline that you're gonna wanna see. And as always, please comment below.